Guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So we have some huge, huge, huge breaking Jets news. And uh, of course, I do apologize about the lighting. It is 9.30 here at night. Uh, but it's looking like the Jets are trading wide receiver Denzel Mims to the Detroit Lions. Josina Anderson uh, did report, I believe it was around 20, 25 minutes ago here, that the Lions and the Jets were having, they were starting their talks about a potential trade and Mims had interest. Uh, he was open to going to Detroit. Uh, so I was kind of thinking like, all right, maybe we should get some news tomorrow at, at some point if talks continue. Uh, she then goes on to post a second update where I, I believe in quotes, she said that the trade is pretty much done and that they are still working on some details. Connor Hughes chimed in and also reported that Mims has been traded to the Lions. So right off the bat, what are the Jets getting here? We don't know. That's still up in the air. If you guys, if, if um, you know, news breaks, please let me know down below in the comment section. Uh, if uh, I get word, I'm gonna pin it down below. But as of right now, the Jets were five, six deep at wide receiver. I mean, think about it. Randall Cobb, Corey Davis, Alan Lazard, Garrett Wilson, McCall Hardman, and supposedly Jason Brownlee, wide receiver from Southern Miss, has been turning heads in practice. Uh, supposedly he's looking really, really good. Six foot four, big target, big frame. And this is somebody who was productive uh, back with the Eagles. And funny enough, I actually have a buddy who covers and, and loves Southern Miss, the program. And uh, he hit me up immediately once the Jets signed him and said, the Jets got a steal here. And it's kind of funny how it seems as of right now that things are working out. But as of right now, we don't know what the Jets are getting for Denzel Mims. But here's the good news. The Jets traded Mims to a place where A, Mims wants to go. B, the team wants Denzel. I mean, you're looking at that situation. Of course, Amon Ross St. Brown, but Jamison Williams, you know, former first round pick, he is going to be missing some time early on in the season. So, you know, maybe they are looking at Denzel saying, hey, we can get this guy some playing time early on. I, I've said it a million times, you know, I really like Denzel Mims physical upside. I do think he could be a, a, a good NFL wide receiver. It just really seemed like the time, his time with the Jets is just ran out. It, whether it's failing to get on the field, uh, failing to score touchdowns, not being able to play special teams effectively, not being able to play the slot wide receiver position effectively. We've heard every, you know, storyline with Denzel, why he's not seeing the field. But look, I loved him at Baylor, second round pick. At the time, he was considered to be, a, uh, you know, an early second round pick. A lot of teams liked him. And it also goes to show that the second that news came out, that the Jets were either going to be releasing Mims or trading him. We had multiple teams contacting the Jets. I believe the Dallas Cowboys were a team linked, the Pittsburgh Steelers linked. I did see uh, a small rumor of the New England Patriots. I'm not sure how true that was, uh, but it's looking like it's going to be the Detroit Lions. At least the Jets got something, right? It's better than just outright releasing him and then the Jets get nothing in return for a former second round pick uh, that was made by Douglas a couple of seasons ago. Um, on one hand, it is unfortunate, uh, and I've uh, talked to some Jets fans about this uh, within the past couple of hours. It is a little unfortunate that two second round pick wide receivers are now off the team in Denzel and Elijah Moore. But you know what it is, what it is. The Jets are deep at the position and we just got to move forward. So anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Once the updated uh, terms are released, I'll try to pin it down below. Uh, but if I don't get to it in time, please let me know down below. Anyway, thanks so much. And as always, go Jets.